Hi, my name is Calvin Johnson. In this video, I'm going to actually um, review the Citrus workspace um, with you. You know, um, right now the Citrus receiver has been depreciated, and um, Citrus has been uh, is encouraging our uh, companies and um, users to actually um, upgrade to Citrus workspace. So I've already installed the Citrus workspace on this um, Windows 10 computer, as you can see on the hidden and show hidden icon. So let me just right click on the Citrus workspace and click the advanced preference. So if I let me just fill off or go to the connection center here, you can see I'm not connected to any server or application. So if you're connected to any server or application, it's going to be displayed um, there. Let me just go there back again. So it's going to be displayed here. But right now, I'm not, I'm not connected to any server or remote application. So if you are connected to any remote application, you have the option to actually disconnect or just log off from the server. So let me go to right click again and go to the advanced preference. So if you are having problem with your Citrix, it is actually from the advanced preference you can actually kind of reset your Citrix workspace to go back again to the default installation and then probably your Citrix will start working again. Or if you are still having some error message, you can as well do some other modification or you can reinstall Citrix workspace for it to work properly. But first of all, let's go to the connection center. Here you can see the connection center is what I showed you before. If you are connected to any server or remote application, it's going to be displayed here. So we also have the option if, for example, your application is being freezed, you can as well, you know, terminate that application from here. So let's click on the shortcut and reconnect. Here in the shortcut and reconnect, you know, you say it says shows application in short in start menu. So when you start on um, the Citrix uh, your Citrix uh, receiver or your Citrix Citrix server, it's going to show the application in, in start menu. You can as well uncheck this box. You can show application on desktop as well. Show application on start menu, and you can enable the different parts for start menu and desktop. So we have the reconnect options. For example, um, reconnect. To all active and disconnected session. If, for example, you close the Citrix workspace and you try to re relaunch it again, so it's going to reconnect to, to the disconnected session only or reconnect to all active and disconnected session, session. So you have the option to actually choose between these two. So reconnect mode, the user, you can actually on refresh or on launch, you can as well say on, re on receiver open. So here you can modify the options of Citrix receiver. So if I go to my Citrix workspace update, here you can see it says select your preference for update notification. So if you want to be notified before Citrix is being up, uh, the Citrix workspace is being updated, I think you will actually choose this option. But if you want the update, no, don't notify me. You don't want to be not notified about the update. So you can as well as well choose the no, don't modify me and then just click save but i'm going to leave it on this option yes notify me and here we have the option to actually it says let's check the configuration checker and i want to check okay for example you know if you are installing i'm um, the citrus receiver you as well you can as well even if you're using the silent command you can as well configure the citrus to be so installed so that the user can use a single sign-on but right now i have installed the citrus receiver without the single sign-on just, I just use the silent install. So if I click on this to check what if the single and sign on is well configured on this installer, let me just click run. Here you can see the single sign on. Let me expand this a little bit. It's the install with a single sign on is red, which means that it is not installed. So if I go here, you can see it says after if I want to configure the single sign on. And we need to actually reinstall the Citrix workspace as an administrator and ensure that the enable sign single sign on is checked. If I'm using the um, command prompt to actually do a silent install, I can as well do a slash and include a, the include this, uh, the single sign on command. So that is how actually you you that's what you need to do if you want to actually configure the single sign on on this computer. So here we can as well delete, if we have saved any password on this uh, Citrix workspace, we can as well delete it as well. You can say yes to delete all the password from this um, Citrix workspace. So we also have the Citrix 
casting says citrus casting enables you to cast your sessions to a larger display so um if for example during startup i want to just want my um my session to actually be showed on a larger display i can say yes but you can say no do not launch the citrus casting on startup so also have the high definition so if you want your uh, your resolution you scale the sessions for your high resolution you can say let the operating system scale the resolution you can say yes which means automatically when you launch citrus the, re the resolution is going to be it's going to be high or you can say no use the native resolution as well which of course in the native resolution you can as well configure how you want the resolution to be you can choose the uh, format which you actually want the resolution to be so we have the keyboard and language bar here as well you say no use the server keyboard layout or say the local keyboard layout may be different from the layout configured on the server you can use yes or you can just use your default the the the, the, the server which are the keyboard which was installed on the server as well so here we have the data collection um, this one is gray out so you don't have the option or the option you need administrative level privilege to actually change the settings so as a user i think you cannot be able to change this the customer experience improvement program so but if i think you don't actually need that to do anything with this just click cancel and here we can as well reset reset the citrus workspace so let's say you are having problem with your citrus workspace um it's not loading very well when you try to load it you are receiving an error message and Sometimes maybe Citrix freezes all the time when you try to open a, an, an application. Or the application is not opening very well. What you actually need to just do is to reset your Citrix workspace. When I click reset, so it's going to reset the Citrix workspace as well and take it to the default installation, to the default settings um, when, you, when you install Citrix in the first place. So I'm going to click OK. And you can see Citrix, um, it has actually been reset to its default please do not show this windows automatically at sign in let's close and here i'll go to my advanced preference again and here you can see so right now and we have the support information if you need some support from citrus you can actually click this but here you can see we don't have any info which is being displayed or telephone number to call citrus so if you have any problem with your citrus you can as well call your system administrator or you can call the company which is who are in charge of the application which you are trying to open with your citrus workspace so here we have the citrus file as well so you we say when you download a file where would the file is saved to so it's going to save to your download file but i have the option to actually change this i can say well i don't want the file to be downloaded to my to the download file I just want it to be to the go to document or uh, you can say ask for each download you just click apply so next time when i try to download a file it's going to be it's going to be saved to my document or i can decide to actually ask for any time you try to download the file it's going to ask where you want to save that file if for example you have an external drive or external usb drive where you want the file to be saved you can as well choose the ask for each download and click apply so now when i try to download the file it's going to ask me to Ask me where I want to save the file. Well, you know, just as I said before, the Citrus workspace is replacing the Citrus receiver. I've done some other some other video on Citrus receiver. So if you are still using Citrus Citrus receiver and you are having some issues, some problem trying to actually uh, maybe download the programs or the program is not opening very well, you can as well check on my other video to actually help you to resolve your problem. So let me just close this and as well anytime you want to actually open the citrus you can go to your start menu and here you can see the citrus workspace is there as well i can click and just go to i can install this program and go to more i can open the file location and you can see it's going to go to your start menu your program so right click on the citrus workspace again and open file location so it's going to show you where the citrus is installed you can see it's, you have all the files here where the citrus are installed.
So thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. I hope this video has been of any help to you. Please, if you think this video has helped you, don't forget to give me a thumb up for taking my time to create this video. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT related videos because I'll be doing a lot of video concerning IT. So if you think you need some assistance, you need some help, you can always check my, um, my YouTube channel. Maybe you can find some um, video that can be of assistance to you. My name is Kelvin Johnson, and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel once more, and see you next time. Bye.